Well, at the heart of that Ukrainian resistance are the private citizens putting their lives on the line. And a group in Virginia is trying to help. Spirit of America is the only nonprofit that is officially approved by Congress and the Defense Department to work alongside deployed U.S. troops and provide private assistance in support of their missions. Well, we followed their shipment of much needed equipment. Just over a month ago, the daily uniform for these Ukrainians was street clothes or a business suit. What we have here is a really nice modern helmet. But now they are soldiers, soldiers for a volunteer army desperately in need of gear. Thank you. Enter Spirit of America, a nonprofit that works hand in hand with the U.S. military to provide non lethal aid to military partners. And is the pace picked up in terms of sending supplies in? Absolutely. We met Colleen Denny and Terrell Chandler in Poland, where they're helping coordinate the aid. How much is this gear needed? Endlessly. The needs are endless. It's thousands and thousands of people that are asking. All the civilians that have joined the fighting, you know, become soldiers overnight. What's the number one need for Ukrainians? Body armor and helmets is the thing that keeps getting identified. We see the, the photos of the 18-year-olds who have their skateboarding knee pads and elbow pads on, uh, and they're volunteering to go. We'll hand the helmets to the tall people. Much of the gear is stored here in a Virginia Beach warehouse. First aid kits. This is for any chest wounds. Protective body armor and other items are packed up. And sent to Poland, filling every seat of this 767. You will probably not find anybody else where an aircraft leaves the United States and the warriors have that equipment on their body in the same day. Founded in 2003, Spirit of America has worked in more than 90 countries. Everyone on the field team is a veteran. Two veterans. You guys never stop fighting. <laughs> never stop uh, serving. This is our way to support those who are still wearing the uniform. So even though we're no longer in uniform, we can still support those who are. And as of this week, Spirit of America has helped outfit more than 3,200 soldiers. And get this, a second plane leaves New York City tonight for the region. Their assistance is worth $7.2 million.